Hey guys, off from Mud Mode today. We're gonna be walking on and romping the lawn chair. Enjoy. So I got the redneck lawn chair in the shop here, up for a service. Um, got all the steering stuff out of it. I mean, all the spindles and whatnot. And um, here's the steering shaft slash wheel. There's the little part of it that makes the arms and stuff turn. The spindles, and then there's a, an originally a brass bushing down here and a plastic one up here. So this thing would just wobble everywhere. So I put a, a brass one in there too now, and it's pretty tight. So yeah, that should be all decent. Um, light doesn't work, even though there's a battery in it, but it's probably dead. So over here we got the got the spindles. These are out of a snapper. Has some Murray axle with a snapper. Um, rear engine rider, uh, rear axle, and then a Mori frame rails. Here's the snapper going there like that. And I'm getting some wear and tear on them, not on this one as much as uh, actually, eh, let me see, it's probably on this one. But we're getting some, some wear and tear on there, you can kind of see it. It's pretty bad, honestly. But. Yeah, I kind of need to put some new bushings in here. Get it in this one. This one's probably not as bad. Yeah, it's a little bit worse, maybe. So I got some cross and donor wheels, and these ones, you know, there's just like very little play. And this is the worn out spindle. So we got all of those, and then there's on the 4x4 I'm kind of working on. And just some little pouch and stuff here. Got cleaned up too, the little like stoppers or whatever you want to call them. So I'm gonna kind of put this back together and then grease it up there and on the spindles and stuff. So yeah, hammer, punch, wheel, go for the bottom one. Hope these ones aren't locked in there too bad. Let's try this side. Trying to come out. It's about okay. I gotta space it up on something. These smaller wheels are a little bit harder to do. Almost out. We gotta tap it on this side. There we go. So there's that. There's the junk bushing. I mean, just look at the wear on it. There's literally a lip on there. <laughs> um, there's that. Take one of these. Take that punch. That one, I think so. Yep. Like I said, the, these wheel, these tiny ones, are a lot smaller to do. I guess so. We'll punch. Punch this in there and there's a little, see that little flat spot? And there's a grease fitting. There's a grease fitting right there. The flat spot goes in the grease fitting so you can pump the grease in there. So get it in there. And then grab your old bushing. One more time. Now she's all flush in there. Yep. Make sure you're not hammering too much on the inside. Maybe more on the outside so you're not damaging where the spline goes. Now I got the spindle. Actually goes in this way. This is for the, the axle part. 
Oh yeah. There's still a bit playing this front one. So I'll go ahead and change the rest of these and get back. Oh yeah. Get some grease there. Go ahead and get the other ones lubed up and then in the back here there's a little tiny grease fitting. I guess you can't even see it but there's a grease fitting right there. So that loses up the chain that's spinning about 10,000 RPMs. So I'll go ahead and get all of that done. Anyways, we got all of the steering stuff greased up. Um, there's the motor mounts, you know, just really heavy duty stuff. That one there is cracked. There you go. That one there's good. And then that one there's pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna have to weld that one up sometime. And then, yeah. I don't think anything else needs done. Um, there might, there might be a crack on this piece, on that piece there. So I might have to fill another weld on that. But yeah, should be mint. I have to take off gas tank bag and go test it out. Enter in the woods. This might go bad. This thing's still got on. Oh, wow. Still got an unlocked differential, so hopefully it won't get stuck down there. I actually got the ground clearance for that. That's a pretty, pretty big root. That's my hand. Not too bad. Just hates the uneven terrain, you know, but it really sucks because it's got a belt clutch on it and it goes, it's really high geared so you can't get like any torque out of it. And if you do, you just pop a big wheelie and tip over, you know. Not too bad. I really gotta get the speed this time. Let's see if we can get a balance day. Eh? Gotta have some kind of decent spot. Oh. Well. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video of Off and Bun Mows. Um, I'm glad I got the lawn chair serviced up. So that's all good. I also got this kind of a new clutch on it. The old rod just bent on me so I got the solid shaft with a couple and then a solid shaft again. And I had another spring on here. So it really gets the traction now. It will do wheelies now. But I've got a two cylinder Continental slash Teledyne uh, motor I want to put in there. It's like overhead valve and stuff. Um, I want to put it in there, have a token voter and stuff, and have a live axle and build a nice heavy duty line chair and have like an articulating axle up front here. But, anyways. Until next time, stay tuned for more.